so v49 who surgical safety checklist what is who surgical che checklist this is checklist uh, aim to systemically ensure that all the conditions are optimum for the patient safety that all the staff are identifiable and accountable and that errors in the patient identity site type of surgery are avoided completely in la there is a trial which uh, reported 38% reduction in the odds of 30 day mortality after emergency abdominal surgery the checklist identified three distinct phases in the normal theater workflow before induction of anesthesia before skin incision and before the patient leaves the operating facility in each phase the checklist coordinator must ensure all listed tasks have been completed so what are the tasks required in each phase before induction confirm patient identity site and nature of operation valid consent site marking applicable applicable presence or absence of allergies confirm amount of blood loss must be discussed and anesthetic safety checked before skin incision time out all team members introduce themselves and state their role the name of the patient the nature of the procedure and any anticipated critical steps or events are confirmed the need for prophylactic antibiotics and the availability of the required imaging and equipment are also confirmed before leaving the theater sign up instrument sponge and needle counts as well as any equipment problems are reviewed and checked specimens are adequately labeled the team then discuss key concerns for the recovery and immediate post operative management of the patient you are a new consultant given the responsibility of introducing the checklist in your hospital unfortunately it comes to your attention that one of your senior colleagues has been refusing to comply preventable errors have occurred in his theater during his time start with a soft approach meet him informally and uh, find out what concern or obstacle he faces in adopting the checklist attempt to address his concerns emphasize that the purpose of the checklist does not impose further burden upon clinician but to improve on the patient safety and outcome if this fails i would point out specific errors that could have been prevented prevention would not only have been better for the patient but also spared the physician the anxiety the inconvenience of reporting the incidents and dealing with the repercussion of the error should my colleagues remain recalcitrant i would be left with no choice to escalate the matter upward to the head of department medical board in the interest of the patient safety thank you